Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoworks.com, and today we are back in Lightroom where I'm going to show you guys some advanced editing techniques, and what we're going to do today is we are going to make those eyes pop. This is a portrait of my friend Barbara that I shot last year, and I'm just working on the edit right now, and there's a lot of things that I'm doing, but one of the things I really want to do is make her incredible eyes pop. So let's get right into this, guys, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So first of all, I'm going to zoom in there, and I'm at one-to-one -one right now because that's giving me a really, really good view. And what I want to do is I want to accentuate um, the sharpness, and I also want to bring some saturation and maybe just brighten it just a touch just to give it like a little bit kind of a cooler look, a little bit more fashion forward, let's say. So I'm going to open up my brush tool right in here, and I'm going to just add a little bit of exposure, some shadows and highlights. But you know what? Before I do that, I'm just going to double click on this and I'm going to reset my tool. <laughs> and that's what you can do with any tool, by the way, is that when you double click it, you reset it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush tool and I'm going to paint into her iris here. And nothing is happening. And I'll just put on the overlay key so I can see where I'm painting. And you can see that the overlay key shows me where my brush has overlaid the, um, the effect that I'm going to ultimately apply. So I'm just going to paint it on there and, um, you know, just I'm going to just maybe reduce the size of my brush tool because I just want to get it on her iris. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just use the option key just to erase this little bit here that went on her eyelash. And, um, you know, we'll just kind of keep it like that, you know, just bring that over there. This kind of goes through her eyelash. I'm just going to paint that over there, that little spot, that little spot over there. All right, cool. So now I'm going to turn off my overlay key, okay, with the O. So now I can see what's going to happen. So watch what happens if I change the exposure, for example. So if I bring the exposure up, it really brightens her eyes. And that's kind of crazy. She, could, she has cat eyes. I don't really want that. I just want like a little, maybe just a little touch of brightness, just a touch, something in that range right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some saturation. And watch what happens when you push it all the way up. It's kind of crazy. You bring it all the way down, no good. You know, you get the black and white effect. But what I want to do is I just want to add like just a little bit of saturation somewhere in that range right there. And I also want to add some sharpness. Not too much though, because obviously if you go too much with it, it kind of looks a little kooky. So just a little bit of sharpness, just to sharpen things up, just a hair. And I'm going to add some contrast. I'm sorry, some clarity. Just a little bit of clarity. Actually, interesting how the clarity really brings it together like that. Okay, cool. So now, so that's done. That's really cool. Now watch what happens if I take the effect off. You can really see the difference. All right. Huge, huge difference, guys, okay? So that really made her eyes pop. And if we, like, zoom out of there, you can really see the difference in her eyes. They look amazing. They look incredible. All right, so now what I want to do is now that I've done that, I'm going to close my, my brush tool. I'm going to reopen my brush tool with the K tool. And now I've got, I've got a whole new um, canvas over here where I just want to kind of go in and I just want to lighten up all of these little blood vessels that are in her eyes. I'm not going to completely eliminate them. I'm just going to lighten them up, okay? So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go into... Actually, I'm, I'm not even going to use a preset. I'm just going to basically I'm going to paint into it, and then I will use um, and then I will use the tool afterward to show you. I'll use the sliders after it. So I'm going to first go in there. I'm just going to paint over these blood vessels, okay? And you can see I'm really going in with a really, really small tool. And and what happens here is that when the tool is so small, the pin gets huge. So I hit the H key to get rid of the pin, but I still have my overlay there, which is cool. So I'm just going to paint over here. And, okay, here we go. Make sure we have the overlay tool on. Hey, you guys see it? Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. I'm just painting over these vessels. Nothing too crazy. Everybody has these in their eyes, so it's completely, perfectly normal. So I'm just going to paint that down there. I'm going to go after this big guy over here. Maybe these little guys down in here. 
And that looks pretty cool, okay? Looks kind of crazy. So now I'm gonna hit the overlay key to turn off my overlay, and now I'm gonna start my adjustment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the saturation, I'm just gonna bring that down just a hair, okay? Just a little bit, like right around there. I'm gonna add some exposure, because I'm gonna wanna kinda, just kinda bl blow it out a little bit, but not too much. So that looks kinda crazy, it's kinda creepy. Um, somewhere around there, whoop. Right, something like that, just a little bit like that. Um, or maybe I'll take the clarity down just a hair. And we'll take the sharpness down just a little bit as well. And let's see, we'll add the saturation. We'll just bring the saturation down just a little bit. And now it looks black and white. We'll bring it down to there. And we'll just add a tiny, tiny bit more because obviously I don't want to see lines from this. Somewhere like that. That's actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Somewhere in that range. Okay, cool. So that's it. So watch what happens now if I turn off this effect that I just added. You can see how much redder it was. So that just is a subtle difference there. It just brought those things down just a little bit. So let's zoom out of this. And wow, look at those eyes. Those eyes are really popping and they still retain that natural look. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you soon.